Captain Robert Hood of Hartlepool, Durham, awarded the bronze medal for the rescue on September the 26th, 1930, of the crew of nine men of the Danish auxiliary schooner Doris. Coxon Frederick Barnes of Selsey and Bogner, Sussex, awarded the bronze medal for the rescue on November the 2nd, 1930, of the two men of the yacht Lucy B of Rye. Mr. J. Davis Bowman of Cromer, Norfolk, awarded a bar to his bronze medal for going overboard from the lifeboat to the rescue of a drowning man on February the 17th, 1931. Mrs. Polly Donkin, fishwife of Colourcoats, 73 years old, awarded the gold brooch, which is given for distinguished services by honorary workers in raising funds. Oxen D. Fenton of St. Andrews, Fifeshire, awarded the bronze medal for the rescue on March the 9th, 1931, of the crew of ten men of the steam trawler Loch Long of Aberdeen. Coxon Angus MacPhail of Thurso, Cape Nesshire, awarded the bronze medal for the rescue on March the 18th, 1931, of the crew of four men of the schooner Pitt of Chester. Mr. John Kyle of Tralee, County Kerry, awarded the bronze medal for the rescue on November the 7th, 1930, of the crew of three of the steam steamer cooperator of Tralee. Well, Mr. Duncan, I suppose you'll be very pleased to be received by the Prince of Wales this afternoon. Yes. You're very That's proud about it, I suppose. I suppose. That's right. Pick up this just a nice, funny ladder down not me to be frightened on him. That's fine. 